Hey there, welcome to another super easy tutorial. I'm Dave and today I'm going to teach you how to install Visual Studio Code plus Python Interpreter on Windows 10. So stay with me. Visual Studio Code is a super cool app that you can test all your programming code for different languages. So I think it's pretty worth it. So let's get to it. The first thing you want to do is to open your favorite browser. In this case, I'm going to open Google Chrome. In there, you have to go to this link. Don't worry, I will put it in the video description. Then we're going to download the Windows version. It depends on your computer if it is the 64-bit version or the 32-bit version. If you don't remember which one it is, then you can go to the Windows Star menu, type PC, then right click on it and click properties. In there you should able to see it in system type. Okay, so I'm going to download the 64-bit version. It shouldn't take uh, no more than a few seconds to download. Okay, now just double click that package that you just downloaded. We're going to start the installation by clicking a, a set agreement, next. Then you want to select the path where you want to install the program. In this case, I'm going to select another drive right there. Okay, next. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the taskbar, okay. And in here, you can check this option if you want to create a desktop icon too. Click next, then installed. It will take a couple of minutes. I'll be back when it's done. All right, all done. Now we can proceed to click that finish button and open the application. There we have it, all cool. Now we're going to proceed to install the Python extension. To install the Python extension, we have to go back to the web browser. In there, you want to go to the extensions option. As you can see, there's tons of programming languages that you can choose, Angular, MySQL, C++, C Sharp, Python, Java and in this case we're going to install Python you can click this option right here or type it in the search bar from there you just want to click that install option once you click it it will ask you to open Visual Studio Code again by doing that it will take you to the Python extension that you want to install click install right there and it will take just a couple of minutes to install. I'll be back when it's done. All done. Now we have to go to the Python language to download the last package, I promise. To do that, we have to go to, the, to that option right there in the Python language. Just click it, click open. It will open this website, click downloads, and then you just have to click this button right there. In there you will have the package, uh, double click on it, uh, click customize installation, then click next, and you want to select these three options that I think are very useful for the tool, and finally you have to select the path where you want to install it. You can leave it like that or change it to the location that you want and click install. Should take a couple of minutes. I'll be back when it's done. Okay, all done. Now we can proceed to close this window, close the browser and also close the application and open it again. Now we can actually test the Python extension that we just installed by running a simple code. I will show you how to do that. Go to File, then click New File. 
in there you want to copy the the code i have it right here it's a very simple code don't worry this simple code it will be in the video description just paste it right there and then you want to save this file uh, as a pi extension test.py and click save as you can see it already recognized the extension uh, with the symbol and all make sure that you can see the extension below right here if not make sure to look in your pc for where you install the python extension with all that said you can go ahead and do a little run and there you have it hello dave jacko all done as you can see the visual studio code is working with the python extension Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you liked the video, please click that like button right there and subscribe to my channel. Namaste and see you in the next tutorial.